this video, we'll be showing you how to copy a Docker image from one computer to another without pushing the image to a repository first. For this demo, we'll have two DigitalOcean droplets set up with Docker. The first one is on top and the destination will be on bottom. Um, they are clean. They don't currently have any images as we could tell with the Docker images command. And then the destination should also be clean. Correct. And there is nothing in the root directories. Okay, so we want to first pull down our Docker image, or a Docker image. We're gonna use the default Docker Hello World app. And now we can see that it is on this machine. Perfect. So to get it onto our destination machine here, this Docker O2, we need to export the image to a file, um, specifically a zip file. And we can do that with the docker save command with the output option set to our compressed file. And then the image we want to export will be the hello world image. Um, you could also use the image ID here and it should save it. And we see our demo.tar there. So the next step would be to copy the image to this other machine using whichever copy method you like best. Um, a lot of people will use rsync or an FTP client. Um, since we have nothing on these machines and it is easy enough to copy over SSH, we will use the SCP command, which is scp and then the file we want to copy demo.tar and then we need to give it our destination of our destination machine here so we will copy it as root and it will need the ip address of this machine which we can find right here and copy it there and we will want to place this into the root directory that is on this machine. Um, as you can see, we have this root directory here, which is where we're gonna copy it. And it should ask for our password and it does. And since the file is small, it shouldn't take too long to copy. There we go. You can see it copied uh, at 13 megs a second and it only copied 24 KB, which is interesting. But if you look at the Docker images, you can see that the file size here is actually 13 KB from the registry. So you'll notice that these sizes will vary um, somewhat. Um, so now here we should see our file had been copied and it is so now all we need to do is load that as an actual docker image and we could do that using the docker command load from there there we go so now we should see docker images shows that we have our image now on this machine without having to pull it down from a repository uh, even the image IDs line up, which is handy. Um, and then you could just go and run it like any other image. And there we go. That's how you copy a Docker image from one machine to the another without pushing it to a repository first.